top five most watched freeze drying videos and I shortened it down to three minutes or less for each video. Before we get to number five, smash that subscribe bell so you can be notified of future videos about freeze drying and freeze drying a business. All right, let's see what topped the charts at number five of the most viewed freeze drying video. $3,500 to freeze dry two candies that transform from being chewy to crunchy and you're gonna love it. You're gonna wanna watch this video. In this video, I'm gonna share with you two candies that take the least amount of time to freeze dry. They change from a chewy state to a crunchy state and that's caramel M&Ms and your favorite Skittles. So if you have version 23 or higher, you have the option to customize the candy mode, which just means you get to customize the drying amount of time and the dry temperature. So we press customize. We're gonna go all the way up to 140 degrees. Only need about two hours to freeze dry these candies. So press save, we're gonna press start. I've also got this silicone mat because what I'm gonna do with caramel M&Ms is I'm gonna put each caramel M&M into here. It actually ends up expanding as you'll see after we get done with the cycle. I like having the individual caramel M&M in each one of these because I'm gonna do another tray for you to show you what it looks like when you just throw all of them on just like we do with Skittles so that you can kind of compare the two and see which one you might like to do. So let's get to putting these into here. I usually just like dumping a bunch on the silicone mat and then I'll just take them individually and put them into the different mold. As you can see here, the silicone molds provide a really good organization for all the individual caramel M&Ms. So now we're gonna do Skittles and I wanna show you two different packs that I've purchased when I go and buy Skittles. I have Skittles in these tubs. These are from Sam's Club, or if you have Costco, you can get these. Although this is a wild berry bag, you can also buy these types of bags. This amount right here, a little bit too crowded, and the reason I know this for my me personally is just like the caramel M&Ms, they just get a little bit too bunched up. I don't like having to break apart the Skittles after they're done freeze drying. And I don't like the clump. Hey, the two candies are done, and I told you it transforms them from a chewy candy into into a crunchy candy. All right, so this is the caramel M&M. Okay, so here are the two trays. As you can see, this one right here is the tray that was all clumped together. It creates these bigger clumps, as you can see. This tray with the silicone mats, you get a single individual caramel M&M and you can put those in the bag. Skittles pop and transform into this. This is the crunchy side of a Skittle. It's like eating popcorn. This was the tray that we put together that had a little bit of spacing in it. And as you can see, yes, they're clumped together, but they're not as deeply connected as you might think. So they easily kind of drop off and create individual Skittles just like you got out of the bag. Now this is the tray that we had very little spacing on. If you look at this, it creates a whole big chunk. I don't like having these big chunks. I like having individual Skittles just like you're used to out of the bag. If that's the first time that you've seen that video, click the link below in the video description. You'll see the full video that I share on how to freeze dry Skittles and caramel M&Ms. Now let's get to the number four most viewed freeze drying video on this channel, which is all about freeze drying another candy, Taffy. Today we're going to be doing a how-to video on candy and one of the most popular candies and I think it's probably one of the better ones to do is taffy. I've got a picture of what it looks like once it's freeze-dried. It changes its texture from a chewy candy to a textured like malty ball that the flavor hits you immediately so it's really popular. There's a couple of pros to doing taffy. One is the texture changes to something that's new and visually appealing to your customers so the experience for them is going to be new and fresh. Now the cons, as I'm going to show you, is a little bit more time consuming. Now although you can find local places to get taffy, I do find that there's some quick ways to get them online. One is Amazon, two Taffy Town, as well as CandyNation.com. I've included a link in the description of all these three places where you can find the taffy. All right, so for the settings for the freeze dryer before we start cutting the taffy, is you wanna set it to candy mode. It's very simple with the new software. So you're gonna select the customize button to 140 degrees and see how it says high temperature mode? That's candy mode. So what should we use to cut taffy? Well, there's two cutting methods that I think have been working the best for me as well as I've found through research of other forums. There's really no easy way to do this except for using a knife and then also these is a cut coat scissors. 
I really like these, they're durable and they really cut well and really make sure that you're getting a good cut each and every time. Whether you have a small or a medium or a large, the same process of technique and cutting can be applied. You just need to figure out the arrangement that would fit on the trays for you. I cut the taffy into quarters and I can put seven across and then I go 16 down. That's 112 individual pieces. Gonna arrange the taffy so that you can see exactly how I arrange it on the tray. Do seven as a row and then I'm gonna do 16 columns all the way down with all these taffy. All right, let's take a look and see what the saltwater taffy looks like freeze dried. If you take a look, huckleberry taffy looks like this. And we got the blue raspberry. Hey, why don't we try some freeze dried saltwater taffy? So here's the blue raspberry. So when you're doing freeze drying as a business, you wanna ensure that you have proper storage for your freeze dried candy. I found that these five gallon buckets right here have worked really well. And what they have is it has a, a lid that actually creates a great seal around it. If you can see it's rubber, has a rubber gasket. And when you close it up, it spins and becomes airtight in here. All right, so we're gonna unseal the bucket, get that lid off. All right, even if you don't have a freeze dryer, freeze dry taffy is awesome. Go up and pick a bag from a local freeze dry company. Or if you are running a freeze drying business, start freeze drying taffy today and use links below in the video description to buy your first bag through Amazon. All right, let's move on to the third most viewed freeze drying video on this channel, which is all about how to freeze dry blueberries. And it includes the best freeze drying tool for preparing fruit, in my opinion. Let's take a look at how to freeze dry blueberries. Hey, if you've got a freeze dryer like the one behind me and you're trying to freeze dry blueberries but you just can't get the drying process correctly and they all come out inconsistent you're gonna love this video because I've got a tool that's gonna save you time and money by poking the skin of the blueberry it's fantastic and I'm gonna show you what it's all about in this video we're gonna freeze dry blueberries and I'm gonna show you how to use a tool that's really helped me be efficient with doing blueberry I used to just throw the blueberries right on the tray and I didn't realize that you needed to poke the skin of the blueberry and any other types of fruits that have a skin. Because as you know, the freeze dryer is removing the moisture from any type of item. So with the blueberry, the skin preserves that kind of like compactness water activity in there. And so if it just dries it, it doesn't have a way to release the water. And then you get exploding blueberries that are dried and it just either falls apart and crumbles or it becomes still chewing and it doesn't dry completely. That's the inconsistencies that I found. I started poking blueberries with an individual metal skewer and I started just poking each individual one on the trays. It took a really long time and it just wasn't efficient. Now I purchased the Rollerberry and this is by the company Frozen Right. The tool has metal spokes that rotate and then right here is where all the blueberries catch once you roll it and it falls right back on the tray. All right, we're gonna use the roller bear. I'm gonna show you how quickly it is to poke blueberries. I've got the blueberries all washed and what we're gonna do is we just kind of line up the blueberries using the silicone mat from the Harvest Right trays and we simply put the roller berry on the end. We kind of tilt up like this and then we roll and look, Every, every single one of these blueberries just got poked. All right, I'm gonna set a timer for how long it takes me to do two pounds of blueberries so you can see. Let's go ahead and press start and let's do the roller berry. Okay, two minutes and 14 seconds to do two pounds of blueberries, all poked and all. Awesome. So in the freeze dryer that we're gonna do for this cycle is 12 pounds of blueberries. A Couple of trays that don't have any poking to it of the skin, so we're gonna see how that does. So a lot of fun stuff to kind of see how it all turns out. We'll wait for this cycle to get done and then we'll see how it all turned out. Blueberries are done. They're done freeze drying. And so what I'm gonna show you is the various different trays. All right, everybody, I just took two trays out of the freeze dryer. One tray is poked, that's the one that's poked that we did with the roller berry, and then this one is not. So again, this is the tray that, as you can see, it just has this red and it actually like crushes. You see all that, how it's crushing with just my finger? Now this is the tray that we poked. 
As you can see, there's barely any type of juices that were released. This blueberry doesn't really crush at all. And even if it does, it still stays intact and you get that really crispy crunch. A freeze-dried blueberry, when it's poked and it's done perfectly, it's super crunchy. Remember, we just wanna poke them for purely to release the moisture out of the blueberries because the skin provides that kind of compact pressure that's not gonna give you the best crunch and the most high quality product. And that's what it's really all about when it comes to freeze drying. Again, if you haven't watched that full video, take a look at the video description below. I've got the full video of how to use the rollerberry tool as well as just to take a look at how to freeze dry blueberries consistently. Okay, now let's take a look at number two of the most viewed freeze drying video on this channel, which is all about the top 20 selling freeze dried items that I would start with if you're looking at starting a freeze drying business. If you are looking at starting a freeze drying business, use my affiliate link below for purchasing freeze dryers from a variety of different brands, including Harvest Right. I'd appreciate the referrals. Now let's get to the video. All right, the first category that you should add to your products is candy. That's the most fun, it's the most creative, Andy changes its texture, which is why really freeze drying has taken off for so many different people to start a business. If you have a Harvest Right freeze dryer, there's an option for candy mode on the latest version. It allows you to customize the temperature in candy mode. You can start it and it only has you freeze dry for about two to three hours. You're really not freeze drying candy. You're using the vacuum and the pump and the temperature to change its texture and form. And certain candies will change its texture, others will not. So I would suggest the following different candies for you to freeze dry starting out. One is freeze dried taffy. Skittles. Skittles, I think, started this whole trend with freeze drying candy. It pops, it's no longer chewy and it's crunchy and you can do different flavors of Skittles. Third, you should do Jolly Ranchers. Don't use the Jolly Rancher name. Jolly Ranchers change from a hard candy to a malty, like super fruity blast of a, of a malty little sugar ball. And one, when you add it to like a window type craft bag for your business, man, it's just gonna pop and people are gonna see that and wonder what it is. And once they eat it, they'll buy from you. Next do Charleston Chews. They change into what I call them as cocoa vanilla puffs because I feel like they taste like a Whopper. Once they expand into the freeze dryer, they're delicious. And I found that a lot of people that try the samples, it's really fun and it tastes great. Look at High Chews. That's the chewable fruit chew candy that you can find at Sam's Club and Costco. They don't pop as much, but they definitely become crunchy. And I think people really have liked those for me. Second category that you should add to your product lineup as a freeze dried business is fruit. Some of my other videos on my channel, I show you how to prepare different fruits. The fruit that I would suggest you do is strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, apples, pineapple, peaches, and banana. Fruit, depending on how much weight you put into the freeze dryer, takes a little bit longer to do. A large freeze dryer with five different trays, it generally takes about 36 to 48 hours to freeze dry and finish that cycle. If you're doing fruit, look for ways to maximize the cost so do things that might be more seasonal, look for deals with different grocery stores, different farmers markets and ways to get deals on the fruit that you're buying and freeze drying. Freeze drying as a cottage food business can be really fun and it can give you a taste for what's to come if you wanna venture into a more of a commercial space. If you haven't freeze dried any of those items, go ahead and start today. All right, let's take a look at the number one most viewed video on this channel about freeze drying. It's my favorite video so far this year and it's all about how much you can make freeze drying with your freeze dryer. Hey, my name is David. I'm a freeze dry business owner in Idaho, and I'm gonna show you whether you can actually make money freeze drying as a business, specifically freeze drying candy. Now behind me is the commercial kitchen that I rent. I did a video on the 10 things that I would do to start a freeze dry business, and one of the things that I mentioned is that you can rent space out from a licensed commercial kitchen in the town that you are in. Now you might wanna look at churches, you can look at bars, you can look at restaurants, things like that, that already have the permit for you to operate commercially and you don't have to go through that process you can just rent from them so that's what I'm doing here and it allows me to sell wholesale and allows me to do a lot more things to grow my business now before we go in here this video is going to be about 
whether you can make money as a freeze dry business. And I've been in business for three years and I have done some calculations to figure out whether you can make good margins. Today, I did three pounds of taffy. Now I've already got it done from the freeze dryer. And so I looked at taffy and I'm like, hey, can you actually make money freeze drying taffy, freeze drying candy? Well, we're gonna find that out. I'm gonna bag all three pounds and we're gonna see whether you can actually make good margins on that. So let's go ahead and take a look. Well, hey, we're in our commercial kitchen. Again, this video is gonna be about whether you can make money freeze drying candy. There's a lot of other things that you can freeze dry, but this seems to be the most popular and the most reasons why people start getting into buying a freeze dryer. And if you are interested in buying a freeze dryer, I am a referral affiliate of Harvest Right Freeze Dryers. If you use the link below, that'll help them know that I sent you and uh, you can purchase a freeze dryer directly from their website. Now. I bought this uh, three pound bag of taffy. You can get this off of Amazon, it's three pounds. This is Huckleberry, but I've got cotton candy in here. Uh, but you can buy this, this is three pounds of taffy. I did the entire bag of this bag, but for cotton candy, and I put it into this air sealed gamma seal bucket. All right, we're back at the office. What I'm gonna show you is a Google sheet that I created years back when I first started the business because I wanted to really know what my cost was Per bag. So I've got a formula that I've already created. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Now we all have different margins. We all have different areas that we're able to price our product differently. So this is just going to be more of a plug and play to see what the ROI is for you, both on wholesale and retail. So let's go ahead and dive into this. But this is in essence just a really quick overview of whether you can make money freeze drying candy. Well, after plugging those different formulas in, I hope that gave you a clear indication that yes, you can make money in freeze drying candy. There, you know, I think a lot of people get caught up in the fact that there's competition, as well as there's just more and more people getting freeze dryers. Don't let that stop you. If you go to a market these days, a farmer's market or art in the park, something like that, you're gonna see that there's a lot of people making barbecue. There's a lot of people making honey. There's a lot of people selling flowers. There's a lot of people doing woodworking. Are they all doing the same thing? Yes, but they all have their little niche. They all have their little core customer group and they all have different goals for their business. So continue striving for success, continue growing your business. Don't worry about what all the other noise is about. You can create the business that's sustainable for you. This is my most viral video so far on freeze drying as a business. Check out the full video below in the video description. And if you're interested in starting a freeze drying business, go ahead and click the subscribe bell right now and you'll be notified of future videos that I come out with. Or you can click on the link below to freezedriedbusiness.com and you can be directed to all different types of resources and information about how to start a freeze drying business. Make sure you subscribe to my email newsletter and I'll be notifying you directly of all all news and updates and news about the freeze drying industry. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.